Thank you for joining me as the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Charleston District publishes a draft report on the Coastal Flood Risk Management Study for the Charleston Peninsula. In this unprecedented time of doing business, I felt it was important for you to hear and see me as you normally might through a public meeting or on the nightly news. The purpose of this study is to identify a potential and feasible solution to effectively reduce coastal storm risks and the economic damages on the Charleston Peninsula. Our employees have worked hard, like you, to adjust to the current climate and continue to be good stewards of taxpayers' money. While we're unable to share the results of our study with you in person due to the public health crisis, we've developed some alternative ways to share the study's important findings and cultivate an inclusive and engaged public comment period. The Army Corps of Engineers serves the nation by providing vital engineering expertise for our nation's toughest challenges. Most recently, we delivered on this commitment by providing technical assistance to MUSC on their alternate care facility conversion in the face of COVID-19. The downtown MUSC campus is also one of the areas on the peninsula most vulnerable to coastal storm surges. The Charleston Peninsula study is a three-year, $3 million federal study. It has involved a great deal of coordination with the city of Charleston, local, state, and federal agencies, and most importantly, community stakeholders. The Coastal Flood Risk Management Study is a significant component of an overall strategy to address flooding on the peninsula, but it is not the only piece. The city has put several measures into place, and our team of engineers and technical experts are determined to assist to the fullest extent of our authority and funding. On April 20th, our team published the initial study findings in a draft report, now available here on our website. These findings reflect over 18 months of research and collaboration. The Army Corps of Engineers recommends three key features to reduce coastal storm risks and damages. First, a perimeter storm surge wall with pump stations and gates. Second, an offshore wave attenuation structure that doesn't obstruct the federal channel, and third, some non-structural elements. We recognize how important it is to preserve the city's natural and cultural resources. That's part of the reason why we were asked to initiate this study in the first place. It's critical to point out that these measures are only outlines of a comprehensive engineering solution. Specifics, such as final designs and precise placement locations, would be determined later if Congress approves and funds further engineering, design, and construction. Under normal circumstances, the public comment period is 30 days. However, due to the impacts of COVID-19 and the South Carolina Stay-at-Home-or-Work Executive Order, we have extended the public comment period from 30 to 60 days to ensure you have the opportunity to review the draft report and provide feedback. We are committed to developing the most effective and feasible plan, and your feedback is an important part of this process. By letting us know what you think, we'll be able to address your feedback in the final report. To simplify the report's findings, we also created a visual overlay of the study. On the report's main webpage, viewers can interact with technical models and other study features to better understand the analysis. I encourage you to visit and fully explore this site. The Charleston Peninsula study is not ready, however, for construction. The final report will give the community, the city, the state, and the federal government an actionable and feasible way ahead. Once this feasibility study is complete in 2021, we will need additional congressional authorization for further engineering, design, and ultimately construction of a project. But we need your help to get there. We look forward to receiving your input and working with you on a solution. From the entire Charleston District, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, thank you, stay safe, essay ons.